So I wasn't going to do another fashion trend prediction video for 2024 until about spring. I was going to wait until sort of the new season to update my trend predictions. But basically I had a few comments, a few of you asking if I could make another trend prediction video, but just focusing on accessories specifically. Over the past few weeks, I was doing some research into accessory trends and also just sort of keeping my eyes peeled, keeping my eyes open around London, looking at what people are wearing, and I have actually come across some really interesting trend predictions for accessories specifically. Things that I haven't seen mentioned in other trend prediction videos, things that I haven't seen dominate the mass market of fashion yet, and also just some accessory trends that I think are just really fun and different. So obviously I thought now is the perfect time to make a fashion trend prediction video focusing on accessories specifically. Some of these trends are quite different to be honest, some of them are quite novelty, quite fun, but I do think this list offers as a bit of a sneak peek, a bit of an insight into the accessory trends that we are going to see dominate the fashion landscape in 2024. This is going to be my accessory trend predictions for 2024. So the first trend that I want to mention, it's probably one of the more novel trends in terms of accessories for 2024, but I do think it is one of the most important trends you need to know about in terms of what is really dominating the accessory trends at the moment. And it's basically this idea of errand core or errand type of accessories. So basically in Balenciaga's Fall 24 collection, in their presentation that took place in LA, they featured a lot of mundane, everyday, everyday outfits, everyday sort of accessories. And basically within this collection, one of the main accessories that was really spotlighted and talked about was this brown paper bag or this bag that looked like a brown paper Erwan bag. So I believe Erwan is a bougie type of supermarket in the US. I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing Erwan correctly. I believe that's how you say it, but it's basically like this bougie, expensive grocery store. I believe it's similar to like a Whole Foods and basically the fact that this Balenciaga collection, this Fall 24 presentation featured Kim Kardashian holding this brown paper Erwan bag obviously did get a lot of attention in Bottega's pre-spring 24 campaign which launched in December. This actually featured ASAP Rocky with another brown paper bag. He basically was carrying this bag with flowers in and again this bag I believe is an actual Bottega bag from their Spring 24 collection. I know that Jill Sanders also has a bag that kind of fits into this aesthetic. Potentially we could see fast fashion retailers play into this idea, play into the novelty of this trend. Even if it isn't in the form of necessarily brown paper bag accessories, I do think this whole idea of active wear, travel outfits, airport outfits is something that we are going to see more of in 2024 and I think this is a fun accessory trend that's sort of highlighting this. Sticking on this more sort of novelty accessory trend, something else that you really need to know is this idea of cartoon nostalgia or the theme of anime actually creeping into the accessory trends that we see this year. So obviously Studio Ghibli has just released their latest anime, The Boy and the Heron. And basically for obvious reasons, this has sparked a whole new revival in the interest in a anime aesthetic. And what's really cool is that it's being said that this aesthetic is actually gonna come to life most through accessories, through new accessories and collaborations. Obviously this is a different influence but Fendi has also had a recent collaboration with Pokemon. It's also the Hello Kitty 50th anniversary this year and I believe they already have a collaboration with Crocs. I think it's safe to say that we're only going to see more accessories with these nostalgic cartoons on them so definitely do look out for this anime theme or cartoon nostalgia in your 2024 accessories. Okay so moving on to more generic trends, more mainstream trends. I'm sure you've already heard of this one but red bags are being talked about as a trend for 2024, silver bags as well. I did also see this idea of rhinestone bags, studded bags. I also have seen this idea of round bags, specifically round clutches, really being spotlighted in terms of luxury accessory trends. Also just generally this idea of clutches is really being highlighted. It was heavily featured on the 24 runways. It's being highlighted in all trend forecasting reports on all 
luxury bag trend reports for 2024 as well so definitely expect to see more clutches. In terms of the micro trends within the clutch bag trends I actually have seen this idea of a pillow clutch bag spotlighted or this kind of puffy marshmallow like kind of aesthetic for a clutch bag but definitely in 2024 clutch bags are going to have this whole revival and we are going to see them really dominate the mainstream market of bags of accessories in 2024. Of course another trend that we're all aware of already are these oversized bags, oversized crossbody bags. I just think that this trend is too convenient to stop. I think we're going to see it now for literally the next few years. Also I do think that an oversized bag just looks way better. I think it adds something to an outfit. That's why I wanted to mention it again even though we all know that oversized bags are a trend by this point. The main thing that I want to say with jewellery trends that we're going to see in 2024, I saw this idea that basically we're experiencing a gold fatigue in jewellery and I think this makes so much sense. Personally a year ago or even a few months ago I just found myself gravitating more towards my silver jewellery when in the past I wanted more gold jewellery and apparently this is really a mass market thing and the whole jewellery industry is really experiencing this gold jewellery fatigue which is really interesting. So basically apparently this trend is the result of the influence of more Y2K aesthetics and also this Y2K futuristic sort of grungy aesthetic as well which again I think makes so so much sense. Obviously in these aesthetics silver jewellery is definitely the preferred choice. It features a lot of bold statement chunky silver jewellery which is definitely a trend. I actually mentioned in my last video what I'll be wearing in 2024 brands like The Great Frog which is a jewellery brand based in London. I also mentioned this brand and this jewellery designer as well but really if you just go on Instagram there is such an abundance of cool independent jewellery designers that are really doing this silver chunky jewellery really playing into this aesthetic. Pilgrim is another great example as well but I think it does show that this kind of jewellery this kind of chunky silver jewellery is definitely going to be a huge trend that we continue to see throughout the whole year of 2024. Another thing that I'm noticing with jewellery trends specifically that I wanted to mention is this idea of mix and matched earrings or just sort of not matching earrings. I'm seeing more and more people a lot of my friends as well wearing earrings that don't match basically wearing an assortment of different earrings different silver earrings and I do think this is a really interesting look also if you're prone to losing your earrings like I am then this is obviously a very convenient trend I'm also seeing a lot of jewelry brands a lot of small jewelry brands actually sell just individual earrings rather than a set and this to me is just confirmation that this is definitely a trend and not just in my mind I do think that wearing earrings that aren't a matching set sort of having an assortment of earrings on your ears rather than very symmetrical earrings is definitely going to be a trend that we see more of in 2024. Also going back to this kind of cartoon nostalgia I wouldn't be surprised if we started to see jewellery crop up with character charms maybe Hello Kitty Pokemon charms. Something that I didn't mention in terms of accessory bag trends is this idea of accessorizing your accessories. I did mention this in some of my other videos this idea of adding accessories to your accessories so thinking of things like bag charms, bag keychains, bag pins, adding bows to your bags, bows to your shoes, bows just anywhere. Basically it's this idea of making your outfit more personal to you, adding charms that represent your personality, your interests, your hobbies and just adding these to your outfit. Obviously I've mentioned this before and I think a lot of people are aware of this trend but I did still want to highlight it in this accessory video just because I do think it is such a fun trend first and foremost. I think it can add such an interesting element to your outfit but I do also think it can help give a new lease of life to some existing pieces that you might already have in your wardrobe. You're almost reworking a piece in your wardrobe in a way. I think the same could be said for shoes, maybe even belts as well. So that's why I wanted to mention this trend again. Another niche accessory trend that I've only just started to see crop up is this idea of belt buckles or exaggerated belt buckles, interesting vintage belt buckles. But it's basically this idea of any sort of interesting, almost tacky vintage belt buckle and then adding this to your outfit. Again, I think this is a really interesting trend. I think it has the potential to really take off and really create some interesting aesthetics, some interesting vibes. The reason that I thought this trend was worth mentioning in this video and why I think you should definitely keep your eyes open for it in 2024 is because it was actually 
actually featured in a lot of the 24 runways. So if you look at the D squared 24 runway and also Jordan Luca as well, I think big belt buckles would definitely be something that would be a fun thing to try and thrift. I'm not sure how accessible they are. I'm not sure if there are loads of belt buckles in the world just waiting to be picked up. But I do think that this trend is one to watch and definitely has the potential to be a very fun, interesting trend that we see this year in 2024. So moving on to sunglasses, the biggest one that's really being spotlighted in trend forecasting reports and also on various online sources is this idea of grandpa cool or grandma sunglasses. Personally as well, I do only think that sunglasses are only going to continue to get bolder, more interesting and I do think potentially this grandpa cool, these retro kind of 80s sunglasses could be the start of us seeing more exaggerated sunglasses and I am definitely here for it. There is a super small sunglasses designer or a super small glasses designer that I am really obsessed with. Her name's Clara Besnard and she basically creates these very interesting designs, almost futuristic bug-like type sunglasses and I do think they're so interesting and I do think this will be what the future of sunglasses will be, what the future of eyewear is as well. Another overarching sunglasses trend or glasses trend that's being spoken about in forecasting reports is this idea of ski eyewear or the ski goggle aesthetic. I think we're already seeing this really dominate the luxury market in eyewear specifically without a doubt. Also something else that I did want to mention, this isn't a trend prediction that I've seen anyone else speak about. I've seen it in no trend forecasting reports, but I know that these types of glasses, because these were quite a significant micro trend in 2023, I do think there is the potential that we'll see this same style of glasses but for sunglasses in the summer of 2024. So that was really it in terms of all of the accessory trends that I think are gonna be a huge trend in 2024. There are a few other random accessories that I did wanna mention that are being spoken about as well. Obviously with the influence of Y2K nostalgia, all of the 2000s documentaries that have come out at the end of 2023, we are gonna see these aviator sunglasses and also New York Yankee caps continue to be a huge trend. Also these kind of baseball dad caps are also being spoken about as a trend. To be honest, I don't really know when these haven't been a trend. I feel like that's just one of those pieces that are just always going to be a thing, always going to be a trend, an accessory to style your outfit with, but they are being spotlighted as a significant trend for 2024, so I wanted to mention those as well. I do also feel like aviator sunglasses, these New York Yankee caps, baseball caps, they do fit into this kind of errand core aesthetic that I was speaking about at the start, so I do just think we are going to see so much more of this kind of errand core casual wear celebrity paparazzi kind of aesthetic crop up so much more in 2024. I also did want to mention interesting socks obviously in 2023 we've seen stockings be a huge thing interesting colorful tights or just interesting pattern tights as well I think as it gets warmer as we go into spring and summer this trend is just going to turn into interesting socks interesting colored socks also very random but I saw these kind of ear hats being spoken about. Also of course oversized scarves, mohair scarves. I personally think that striped mohair scarves or just striped scarves generally and of course I could not make this accessory trend prediction video and not mention bows and ribbons. Bows and ribbons have been a huge trend for a couple of months now and it's not going to slow down at all. I think we're going to see so much sort of bow themed jewellery, ribbon themed jewellery. To be honest at the moment bows and ribbons are just having a sort of viral moment and I don't think it's going to slow down. I do think, however, Simone Rocha really does play into this aesthetic well. So if you are interested in this bows and ribbons aesthetic, definitely go check out Simone Rocha. But that was really it in terms of all of my accessory trend predictions. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you were one of the people obviously requesting this video, I really hope it is what you wanted it to be. I hope I covered everything that you wanted. Do let me know in case I didn't, if you want to hear of anything else specifically. Of course, let me know what you think of these trends, what accessories you're excited about for 2024. And until the next one, I hope you have an amazing day. Bye!